Hi everyone and welcome back. So uh, in the last video we talked about all these entities to understand the relationship one to one, one to many, many to many, many to one. Now what we will do is we will just do npm run db sync and let's see the magic. npm run db sync we already have created a build and these are our type ORM commands. Okay. So this db sync will try to create the database tables if we have container up and running i didn't check that so we have we are connecting to the postgres so that is up and running now the the last thing which we also want to talk about is many to many so there are many ways to create a many to many relationship why what i personally prefer is create a new entity and put all your foreign keys there it's like uh, it's going to have uh, many to one relationship like let's say blog uh, user can, uh, multiple users can write a single blog and then single blog can be written by multiple users so this is the case of many to many relationships so you can actually create a new entity user blog okay what that user blog will have is the two foreign keys coming from user and the blog entity right and uh, before that we can see that here our tables has been created you can see the comments tags uh, user all these entities are created and when you want to do the create uh, uh, when you want to write a migration what you can do is you can just create uh, copy this create syntax okay this is how i do it or you just go to your database console and copy the create command from there the db sync uh, commands i mean these are also the sql queries like comments tags post and their finally their relationships you can see this is where this is the place where we are adding the the foreign key relationships right i'll the table comment and it is adding the uh, preference with the user comments with the post and all these things now what we can do is we can actually use a database tool for this and let's try to see the sequels okay i can log into uh, postico let me just try this let me, let me zoom this and if we just try to open the ddl here you can see the reference also right this is a reference of the table now we can also see the posts open ddl and the same ddl you can use for creating the table right and because these can be the two different queries create table post and create unique index so now when you are actually writing the migration so then you need to be aware about the order right so what we are going to do is we know what is the sql for these different database tables uh, we can actually use npm run uh, generate migration command from package.json okay so what command we have there we should have migration generate this command you can use and you can create a fresh new migration and i think it will require an argument which let's say user so it, it is going to create a user migration and then similarly we can create the other migration also you user tag comment and all it will take some time and what it will do is it will create a migration in the src uh, migration folder here you would be able to see that and once this first migration is created we can copy the, the rest of the migrations you can see this migration is created similarly i will also create a comment now when we see the what is in the migration any particular migration file contains the simple things the the class name and up and down here you will be writing your query to actually create the table and uh, then once first what you can do is you can create all the tables then you keep add, you can start adding the references okay so here is i'm adding comment and then we can further add a tag and all okay let's do add the migration here so we already know what we are doing in the the user table so let's open the ddl now okay it doesn't have any direct reference we are going to create this uh, unique index and all these things later so it can be a two queries 
so create table user so here what we will do is this is async await await query runner so how we write uh, all these things is simple like query runner dot query and you define your sql query what you wanted to execute so await query runner dot query oh, it's not coming up okay and here inside this you can put your query okay plain and simple and if query fails then you can write a query for dropping the table that is simple and another query which we have is uh, creating the index so it is creating the index on user id and uh, creating the unique index on the username right this is because we have username as a unique so we can also create an index these are the indexes we have to create so this is first query await query runner dot query and here again you can add your queries so these are two queries that is fine it will execute okay so this is for the first table and in the drop what you can do is if something fails you can just drop the table so here you can simply say drop table user and we are done similarly uh, we have created it for the comment and we have another thing is post so for the comment if we see the database now for the comment comment should have a reference create unique key reference and it has a, a foreign key reference with the user and the post id so it's better that we create a user and then post and then comment okay if we see the post because these should be created in order post has a relationship with the user we already have created a user so now we can create a post okay so post i'm creating running this command and you can see these are in the order because these will these are not, uh, nothing but a unix timestamp okay 711 and now it is a 21604 so these will execute in order first it will do run the migration user then it will run the comment uh, comment migration if you want to reorder them that we decided okay first we will execute user then we will execute post <coughs> then you can actually delete the comment and then now you can create comment meanwhile we will add the the query for the post okay for the post what we have decided is uh, this is our create table query and then there is a just unique index we are adding i mean you don't need to look for the sql clients to look for the query if you already know you can write it so await uh, query runner dot query and put your query inside it so this is your simple create table query okay then you have index on the because sometimes what happens is in most of the sql client they always add the index on the primary key id serial primary key auto generated type uuid or something like this here we have the user id is integer this is cascade delete creating primary key and then we have unique key index this is the primary key reference we are adding so we can just simply do is we can write another query here await query runner but i will say is when you are using a sql client and copying these queries from there then just check the index of these types you are creating because if some other developer is using another sql client then he might be able to push the query structure different than what you are doing okay then you can just simply do a drop table await query in a dot query and you will say drop table post and here drop table post 
now uh, we are doing for the comment and we can see the structure of the comment here so similarly you can add the migrations and all these things i'm just taking this example so here you can see it is adding the reference so we already know that we have user table created and the post table created so we can uh, add this query okay what you can do is if you don't want it to create migrations like this what i generally do is i just increase the timestamp okay so the next one is for comment.ts okay what we need to do is uh, just copy this timestamp here and increase it so because uh, when the migration runs they actually runs this in a particular order and they actually looks for this timestamp okay we are in the comment so increase the timestamp a bit and it's a last file and populate the same timestamp in the file name so you don't face any inconsistency this is about comment okay copy your ddl from the create table query here we go this is my create comment it has a two foreign keys and we can add the reference the index finally and we are done so similarly you can add the the migration for the rest of the tables okay so this is the comment we have okay so this is all about it uh, now we can actually update this index query also and then drop table comment if anything goes wrong simple so here instead of this drop table comment so here this is how you will create uh, the migrations for your entities and it's very easy what you can do is if you don't if you're not comfortable with this you can actually get the queries from here and if you are a good at experts then you can just easily create a query so you can see the create table with the constraint the only thing which matters is the, their order if you are creating a comment first and which needs a reference keys with the, the two tables which are not already there then you should take care of the order so first we will create a user then we will create a post then we will create a comment and then we will create a category and all these things okay and then these references finally we have to add the constraint right either you can create a separate query for the alter table add ref add constraint alter table post add constraint this is the foreign key constraint with user with user id this is the the foreign key reference uh, of a tag with the post right and cascade on update and cascade on delete whatever the cascade behavior we have created same behavior behavior you can populate in the query so in the entities we are adding this cascade behavior like on delete on update or set null same you can populate in the queries because there should be no inconsistencies with your entities and your migration okay so this is about the relationships and now many to many it's very easy many to many you can create a third table third entity let's say uh, i have another entity which is a users blog okay let's say i create an entity here in the domain users blog and that will have the many to many relationship i mean user one user can have many blog uh, and single block can be written by many user so you can create a third entity which can be acted as a many to many users blog there you put the foreign key of the user entity and foreign key of the blog entity so it will have just id primary key and two foreign keys that's it okay and it will be this in the same way you will you will be writing the many to one relationship there so this is just an alternative another way of uh, writing it like in the comments you are doing this many to one with uh, the post many to one so this these two columns you can add in that table many to one right because uh, that table will have the many records for the user and many records for the blog right so many to one so this is all about uh, how we manage the relationship in the database so we are done with the the section two of this advanced nest js course is uh, dealing with these uh, ORMs, maybe a type ORM we have covered, writing the migrations, understanding the, the I mean, writing the migration, understanding, doing the DB sync, populating the tables, and doing the operations. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.